always problems that you need to find solutions for. I'm stripping these walls and these are going to get lined and painted. But behind these spindles I've got existing paper and it has been done really well. Um, it's going to ca cause me more problems trying to remove all the paper. So what I've started to do round here, I'm stripping this side and I've only brought it as far as that corner. So this is the still the paper, the backing. It started to take off. So I'm going to carry on taking this off. Hoping for the best. I want the backing to stay on. And then I can just paint it. So just at the back of the handrail, I've got the border which runs all the way round, just like this piece down here. The border. So if I can strip the paper back this way, just taking the surface off, hopefully that'll stay on and I can just paint over it. So we'll have a go, see how it goes. Okay, so that plan didn't work. You can see it's been sprayed. You can see it like a mist, the stain behind. And you look at the actual plaster there. So all this has not been keyed. So then this paper hasn't stuck to it properly. So the whole lot was loose, apart from a couple of patches. So oh, I've had to take it off. But I think I might be able to get away with just painting this back. Get it all neat and clean and smooth. And then I might cross line. Well, I am cross lining. And I'm just going to bring the paper to behind the handrail. And then what I can do is when I've put my first coat of paint on, there's a slight gap there. I can fill back up just to hide the shadow line with my paper and that'll be right that the best way of getting around that one I could try and put my lens in bringing them across and through but that's just too awkward so definitely but what it is I'll just emulsion this line up to the handrail best solution